basketball is relatively safe. There's not a lot that can go wrong. It's a good sport to have a nap to. Oh, he's throwing the ball into the crowd. The opposition let it go out, and in doing so, a lucky crowd member won a holiday. I'm sure she didn't know they were giving out free trips to destination fucked at the game. But beggars can't be choosers. Over at the soccer, that is a lovely shot on goal. Or maybe it's a shit shot, I don't know. This bloke slides in and sacrifices his family jewels to the destination fucked gods. Like basketball, there's not a lot that can go wrong with skateboarding, is there? It's very rare you'll see snapped bones and cracked craniums. Ah, the old boat on a swing. How I have such fond memories of playing with me own swingy boat. Let's have a look at his dismount skills. Terrific! Nailed it! I'd give that 10 out of 10 on the Destination Fucked scorecard. You can tell he's committed his whole life to achieving this amazing athletic moment. Have a look at this beautiful bastard on his hydro jet. He's gyrating and thrusting like he's in a Cardi B music video. His confidence is high, so he decides to swoop in and ask a Sheila if she wants to go on a date to his favourite destination. It's important to remember you only live once. I don't say this to encourage risky, fun behaviour. I say it to discourage risky, fun behaviour. Bloody hell, Sheila's in bikinis and destination fucked are like peas and carrots. They go well together. She is up shit creek without a paddle. I often think Destination Eft is very similar to Amsterdam. If you walk around, you can see the people who only wanted to visit once. They had a return ticket back to their country, but they didn't use it. They ate the magic mushies and the space cakes and thought, bugger it, I'm gonna live here, I fit in. I have finally found a place where I fit in. I might look like a wreck on the outside, but don't judge me. Yeah, nah, 30 years goes by, and then they start waving to people for help. This guy is like, get me out of here. Excuse me, I'm not having a good time. Can I come with you? Mate, I'm fucking stuck. Help me, help me, help me. Movie studios have finally listened to us. It's been a long campaign, but here it is. The first ever male Mary Poppins. What a fair dinkum inspiration. I wonder if he can also sing A Spoonful of Sugar. Let's play Takeshi's Castle and shit mixed. That was a good impersonation of a contestant. Like basketball and skateboarding, it's hard to imagine skydiving going wrong. Being 10,000 feet above the earth means you're 10,000 feet from destination fucked. Of course, you could almost get hit by a plane, but don't worry about that. Just wave to the camera. Destination lucky. Destination lucky and safe. I love how you can instantly tell whatever he's doing is a shit idea. There it is! Ah, uh, I have no idea how that could have gone any other way. He willingly slid on soapy water to destination fucked. Just think about that for a minute.